Now this is a flashlight, you know, big BT, I want you to realize this, this is a flashlight, it's got a couple, have you kids all seen a flashlight before? Yeah. yeah. It's got two batteries, and it's got a light bulb in it, and it's got a switch. Could you turn on the switch, sir? Do you think you could? Thank you very much. And the light, wait. It didn't go on. It's not working. Pepper Just a pepper. second. Oh, I think I know what the problem, why is this happening to me? <laughs> okay, I think I got, ah, oh, we need a new, we need a bulb. Do we have a light bulb out there? Could somebody bring me a light bulb? We need a bulb for this flashlight. I think we got, here's a light bulb. <laughs> oh. That's a, th that's a neat bulb, I know, but I don't think it's the right size. How come nothing ever seems to work right around here? California, it's the Big Tomato. Hello, I'm Jennifer. On today's program, we'll see some pet animals. You'll learn how to draw the Big Tomato. And now, here's our host, Mystifying Mike. Okay, this is gonna be pretty interesting. Uh, we got a couple kids here. Why don't you, a couple of kids come out over here, and uh, we, this is, uh, why don't you, let's talk to you for a second. Let me meet you. What's your name, please? Brad Schuler. Brad Schuler. And could you stand just back here a little bit so everybody could see you? Where do you go to school? Fremont. And what grade are you in? Seven. Okay, and over here uh, we have? Aaron House. Aaron House. So why don't you look out there and smile a little bit. What's your, what, what's your name? I asked you your name. What school do you go to? Williams. And what grade are you in? Fourth. Okay, are we, and we're going to meet a couple pets or uh, pets, some animals. Are you ready to meet them? Okay, let's go on over. Come on, and here's Scott Miller. Just before we look at the pet, why don't you go around there a little bit, please? And Scott, how are you doing? Can you shake hands with that other Got guy? Got my hands kind of full here. Okay, Scott, where do you uh, have these? Where do these pets come from? Well, I work at the Animal Circus in the Island Plaza, and these are some of the pets, more or less the personal pets that we have in the shop. This one here is for sale, but some of the other friends I'm going to bring on later on are uh, more or less pets of the shop. We're not really selling them. Okay, why don't you uh, tell us something about yeah, this? Yeah, this one here is what they call a bowel python, and he's a lot shorter and stubbier than uh, what they call a Burmese python. Burmese python gets quite a bit longer, and he will stay shorter and fatter. And okay. you can see he's... You want to pet, can the kids pet him? Sure, yeah. Is, oh, is it a him or her? I, uh, I'm not sure myself, to tell you the truth. Let me ask. Hi, are you a she or a he? <laughs> Just looks... Oh. <laughs> Didn't no. answer. Well, that bite... No, no, they're a very tame snake, and they're non-venomous, okay. and they don't bite at all. Do you have a question you want to ask, uh, ask Ms. Scott? What do they eat? Uh, this one here would eat small mice or rats. Now, do they, how do they prepare them? Do they fry them or <laughs> broil them? Or no, you rats? just throw them in live, and they catch them. They just... And they're non-venomous snakes, so they crush their prey, as opposed to... Uh, Stinging it with the venom. Oh, venom is like poison? Mm hmm Yeah. And they crush it and then do they, I, I've heard they eat the whole thing? Swallow it whole, yeah. And then digest it immediately or? Uh, no, a snake can go for about a week without food. One mouse or rat would last about a week, week and a half. I could see gain heartburn eating a whole, <laughs> the bones and everything, right? Everything. Just the whole ball of wax. Yep. Okay, do you have a question you want to ask, Scott? Oh, well, where do they live, like normally? Uh, South America or Africa. Uh, they live in a very warm, humid climate. Ooh. Did I scare that? What? No, he's just uh, investigating and crawling around a little bit. Does, um, he's investigating, checking things out. Uh -huh. um, a couple questions. Uh, what makes a snake a good pet? Well, it all depends on what your likes are, really. Um, people like snakes because they stay in one place, more or less. You know, you can keep them in a fish tank or something like that. They don't eat very much, only once a week. And they they're don't unusual. Yeah, and they don't bark. That's right. what I like. They don't. Right. They don't bark. Can I pick them up? Sure. Or is there? Or could we have one of the kids pick them up? You want to handle them? Just kind of let him slip through your fingers. Don't hold him real sturdy. Oh, or he anything. won't like that if you hold it too sturdy, huh? Yeah. Just keep. Let me pet. Hi. <laughs> Hi. What's your name? Hmm. Guess they don't talk much. He's checking me out. Oh, <laughs> now what's this? He's not going to bite me, is he? Okay. Hi there. Okay. Well. Why don't you, uh, uh, where does he, where do you keep him, by the way? What? Oh, he just lives in a little fish tank. Okay, well, fish tank. why don't you put him away and bring oh, out okay. your next pet. Would you like to have a snake for a pet, Aaron? I don't know. You don't know. How about you? <laughs> yeah, I would. I think I would. <laughs> oh, come on. It's, 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 it's. 
I don't think this next guest wants to come on. Max. Mm. Ah, excuse me. Wow. Hello, Max. Come on. Come Max? On. This is Max. What's his last name? Factor? Like yes. Max Factor? Or Maximilian. No? Maximilian. His full name. Okay. And he's a blue and, wa uh, blue and gold macaw. And he's hand tamed. And he's ta he talks as well. He says about six different things. He's, macaws are not as nice as the other guy that I'm going to bring out. They're a little ornery, so I can work with him pretty good, but if you were to try to handle him or anything, he might get a little angry. Oh, you mean like he might bite or hope? Uh, he might lunge at you, not to bite you, to hurt you, just to scare you away. Cute. He has to get used to people, really. The guy turns around. The guy, you know, we bring him on, he turns around. Cute. Beautiful bird. Now, what, how much would a bird like that cost? He runs about $2,500. Twenty-five hundred yeah. plus tax <laughs> smackies. The reason he's so expensive. That's two thousand five hundred. <laughs> that's that's quite a bit, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of money. <laughs> the reason he's so expensive is because uh, we have worked with him and hand tamed him, and he would be a lot cheaper if he was a young bird and, and not fully trained or anything. Yeah. Um, well, one thing nice is it doesn't have an expensive wardrobe. That's true. Right. Okay, what, do you have a question you want to ask? Well, what's his approximate wingspan like? His wingspan is about three and a half or four feet. Yeah. Wow, that's <coughs> a piece of get him. Stretched out the wings, you get three and a half to four. Um, can you do any tricks with him? Uh, he is not really very much of a trick bird. He's more of just a cage bird. He doesn't really know any uh, tricks. Okay, what do you like mean that. by hand tamed then? Uh, well, every bird when they're young and, and you work with them a lot, um, it takes a while to get them to a point where they're not going to bite you or anything, mm -hmm. uh, not make advances on you. And you can see I can, you know, work with them like this. And his bill is made to crack very hard nuts <coughs> and shells that they they have out in the wild. Uh -huh. And um, so their thing, their beak could snap off anything. And he could probably take a good chunk out of the stick I just had him on. Ooh. Okay, keep the tomato away. We don't want the tomato <laughs> to get. Okay, could we? Do you have one that we can handle? Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, Max. And thanks come for coming. Come on, I'm glad Max. you. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, uh, beautiful bird, huh? Yeah. I was wondering if um, if he eats anything besides um, nuts or um, anything like that. If he eats any meat. Okay, we'll ask Scott when if he knows. Do you know? Does uh, he eat anything besides nuts? No, he's strictly a vegetarian. He eats uh, different. Uh, seeds and stuff like that. When you feed them, you see, feed them sunflower seeds and peanuts and stuff like that. Out in the wild, they'd eat different kinds of fruits and mm. stuff like that. Good question. Now, is this one we can touch? Yeah. We could, can, do you pet them or what? Yeah. Yeah. Now, just wait, hold out before we do that, just a second. Remember okay. last time you brought on a bird? <laughs> the bird actually bit me. I mean, <laughs> not really a big bite, but nibbled me, okay? So I brought something here, so I'm sure that's uh -oh. not going to happen. See, could you hold this for me for a second, Aaron? Okay. This is what I use to pet animals when I'm afraid of being bit. A spare hand, okay? This way, the animal comes at me, just like that, it goes like that, and I don't feel a thing. Ha-ha! <laughs> I'm prepared. Okay. Can I touch? Hi! Nice bird. <laughs> okay, why don't you go ahead and... You want the hand? Mm -hmm. Bring a bird on? Right just more in the hand. It. No, okay. okay. He's real heavy and he might be careful there. Wow. Okay, just hold him up. You know, that bird is pure as white. Pure mm -hmm. white, I was going to say, but the eyes aren't. But white, and yet the fact that it's all one color still makes it beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is very similar to the kind of bird that they used on the Sirius Beretta. And he, it's okay, Rock. Now, does he talk like Polly won a hamburger he, with uh, cheese? He says he has two different voices. He has a very low garbled voice, and he has a, a high-pitched voice as well. And he can talk in either voice. Can you get him to I talk? I can't get him to talk right offhand. He, Camera shy. He's a no little doubt. shy right now. Well, let me talk. Uh, hi. Hi. Hello. She's okay. checking things out. She? Are we, did we correct? Did we? It's, it's Rocky. It's a he. It's a he. Okay, yeah. excuse me for a penny. Now, what is he doing right now? Like That's just something that they do. They, they run their head from side to side like that. Now, uh, Rocky seems very comfortable right now. Yeah, Rocky is a real nice bird. They're, they're probably one of the best hand-tamed birds. Do you have a question? Looks like um, where do they live? He, again, like the snake and the other the macaw, both live in uh, South America or Africa, you'd find them. Do they Real warm in climates. In jungles? Or? Mm hmm. Yeah. And uh, you'd see them all over in the trees around Can we there. put him on my shoulder for a second, sure. see what that feels like? Let's see what this feels like. 
He won't nibble the ear, will he? I didn't bring along an extra Rocky. ear. Come on, Rock. Rocky's rook. <laughs> there you go, Rock. There you go, Rock. It's okay, Rock. Rocky does what? Rocky is. Hi, Rocky. No, I can't see. <laughs> Rocky, want to. Uh, what is he doing anything? Hey, it's interesting. <laughs> now you can walk around town like this, and people look at you and say, uh -huh. "You are weird." <laughs> okay. Can Can Aaron pet him? Sure. They like to be pet. He likes to be scratched up underneath the wing. Oh, Just reach, nice. reach up underneath his wing there. Well, oh, Rocky, oh, it's not okay. Not up there, it's Rocky. just a head. It's interesting that. <laughs> what is? She's <laughs> trying to walk up on top of your head because you're. Got your head down. Come here, Rock. Uh, is Rocky house trained <laughs> before we do? Yeah. Oh, come here. Rocky likes to be on things that uh, Rocky can grip like that. Whoops. That's like a fan. Big <laughs> power. Yeah, he likes to be scratched right up underneath the wings there. Do you have any food for our Rocky? Or? Uh, yeah, I have a little treat for him. I don't know if he'll eat it or not. Okay. Rocky. Want a treat? Oh, a peanut. Oh, oh, you don't want it, huh? Here. He doesn't <laughs> want it. That's how he says, I don't want it, huh? Yeah. What if uh, you could get to talk, what would this particular, particular one? I can't even talk. What would this particular one say? He would say, hello, Rock. Uh, he says, come here. And... Uh, a couple other different things. Hello, mm -hmm. and uh, as I said, he says that in both both voices. I think we could get to learn. Hi, big tomato. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'd have to, how much would this uh, bird like this cost? He is for sale, and he's about a thousand dollars. A thousand. How smack. long does it take to train him? Could you ask that again, please? How sir? long does it take to train him? One like this, uh, probably about to a point where he's sitting on your hands, about a week and about three weeks to get him to where he was talking and stuff like that. Okay, I, we just about run out of time for this segment. I want to first ask these two kids a question, then I want to thank you. What uh, would you rather have, a snake or a bird for a pet? A bird. Okay, how about you? <laughs> I'm not sure, but probably a bird. Okay, uh, I, I kind of, I don't know, I'd like either. Scott, I want to thank you. What was the name of the pet shop again? Animal Service.